It is almost time. EASC is just around the corner, which means we are now officially in starter squad season. It is time to find the crazy cheap beasts in the EASC database, build a team around them all, and make the most overpowered meta starter team we can. And in this video, I'm going to run you through a selection of cards that I think are going to be cheap and overpowered at the start of the game. Are you ready? Let's get stuck into it. We're kicking things off with one of the most expensive cards we're going to talk about in this video. Colo Mawani, PSG French Premium Links. Probably not going to be cheap, but you never know. It's a different game. Anything's possible. For all we know, these cards could be a lot cheaper than expected. But his stats look class for a starter card. He's got the pace. He's got the dribbling. Great skill moves. Great weak foot being four-star, four-star. Really well-rounded starter striker. And those links being premium are also a massive bonus. Up next, we got another recently transferred player, Openda. This man last year, the amount of special cards I reviewed on my channel, he was a fan favourite to say the least. Never quite getting the 5 star, 5 star card, but he's 3 star, 4 star this time round at Leipzig in the Bundesliga, 82 rated. Similar to Moani in the fact that he's just really quick. Great body type in game, dribbling's going to be there, shooting is fantastic with the finishing. Mate, he's, gonna, he's probably going to be a little bit expensive, but being real, a lot of people pre-ordering their own edition, getting a few points, packs will be open. This man should be packed a fair bit, so hopefully his price stays down. We are continuing the Bundesliga theme, and this man has been leaked everywhere. Everybody's starter squad right now probably has this guy up front. 96 pace. It's Kareem the Dream out of Yemi. Dortmund's finest, 80 rated, four star, four star. Not really crazy in regards to going forward bagging goals, but the pace and the dribbling early game could be so vital, especially if you've got a bagsman alongside him. You see a fair few cards I'm going to show you later that have great shooting stats. This man linking up with those could be fantastic. For example, Daniel Marlin. He plays for the same team, so chemistry, no issues whatsoever. He's gone for the buzz cut, goatee look. I respect it. He's hustling out here. He's got great pace, really decent shooting stats, great dribbling. Just really stacked, similar to Muriel in previous years. That Colombian man in uh, Atalanta, I believe he played for, just dominant at the start of the game. Marlon's basically taking his boots this time around. Four star, four star. Him and Adeyemi, you're going to see a lot at the start of the game. Up next, we've got Ajibadi, Nigerian in the Women's Spanish League, playing for Atletico Madrid. Now, one thing to note before we dive into this card is chemistry works a little bit different. You can't link the Women's Spanish League and the Men's Spanish League. So La Liga, and I believe it's La Liga F, I'm not too sure. They don't get chemistry together. It has to be directly nationality links or club itself in Atletico Madrid. Keep that in mind when building your starter squads. But this card right here, Correa vibes from last year. Really solid pace, brilliant shooting. For an 83 rated, 83 shooting, great finishing stats on there. Composure's also decent. Dribbling's well respected, same with the passing stats. And not too bad in the physical department, minus the aggression. I think she's going to be great, man. And there's a lot of crazy Nigerian women's cards in this game that you could definitely link her to. So we'll come, we'll come across a few of those shortly. Up next is Mr. Lengthy himself, Emre Chan. Seems to feature a majority of these like starter cards, overpowered card videos, because that's exactly what he is. He's overpowered at the start of the game. He's had downgrades across the board. The accelerations worry me a little bit, but you've got a really well-rounded, tanky ball playing center mid. He's got great passing stats, offers a lot defensively, brilliant physicals. If he's in the box, he might chip in with some goals. And most importantly, Dortmund, Germany, fantastic for links to other boys like Adeyemi, for example. He might have a bit of premium, but I think that acceleration being a little bit lower might help with his price keeping it down. Another Athletic Madrid player, it is Lamar's turn. Can link to Adjabedi, who we looked at earlier, and also great links being French in La Liga. Really good, quick, fantastic dribbling. That's the main thing I like about this man. If you've got heavy hitters like Chan in the middle of the park, you've got Thomas Lamar who can wiggle out tricky situations, four-star skills as well, great acceleration, brilliant body type and dribbling in game. He's going to feel meta. Up next is another Nigerian woman's card who looks ridiculous. Trust me, they got so many insane ones this year. It is Tony Payne. Sevilla, La Liga F, which is also a link to Ajibade, uh, just pure chemistry-wise. Great little connection, these two. And look at this card for like a well-rounded box-to-box centre mid. Only 77 rated, which is crazy. I'm getting Renato Sanchez kind of vibes from this card. Great dribbling stats, minus the reactor's composure been a little bit low, but that should be fine. It's the pace, the defending, the physicals, and just being well-rounded package. Should be cheap as chips as well. Really, really good, and I'm definitely trying her out in one of my starter teams. The bold phenom had to feature is Dale Upamakano. Plus one upgrade from last year, which is beautiful, and he's looking good. 
in the Bundesliga. France, Bayern Munich, good chemistry links. He's got pace, decent dribbling for a base gold card. Gold centre back that is. Solid defensively with phenomenal physicals being 88 strength, 89 aggression. It's what I like to see. Now this one's a trio. Shout out to Foot Donk on Twitter. I'll leave his link in the description down below. He's whipped up this lovely graphic here. Basically he's hinting at a Saudi League starter squad. Now, there's a lot of meta cards in the Saudi League with recent transfers. For example, Kessi, Ibanez and Saint Maximum who is also 5 star this year. Still keeps his 5 star skills. Mate, what a sick looking trio this is. Ibanez looks crazy. I think he was at Roma last year in the Syria. I can't remember exactly. Kessi, we know what he provides. Similar to Chan, not the quickest of the blocks, but physical, basically a bulldozer in the middle of the park. And St. Max, we know what to expect with the boy. He's quick, his dribbling's crazy. Shooting and passing might be a little bit frustrating, but at the start of the game, bit of fun, five star skills, utilize the pace. This is going to be seen a lot, I reckon, in the early game of ESC24. The brother of Inaki Williams, it is Nico. And his card for the start of the game looks very solid. Similar to Doku, recently transferred to Man City. He very well could have featured in this video. But we're mixing up a bit, trying to see cards that haven't really been leaked until last night when this database came out. Nico Williams, man. Pace, shooting, dribbling. He's going to be so quick and annoying for your opponents to defend. Four star, four star as well. Four star, five star actually. He's got the five star weak foot, which is fantastic. Really, really nice card. Medium, medium work race is a bit of a disappointment. And he's a little bit on the taller side as well, which could be interesting. But definitely want to keep an eye on at the start of the game. Now, a card that I reckon might be seen a little bit at the start of the game. The nationality link's a little bit tough, so you're relying a lot on club and league links. It is Kundananji. I hope I said that correctly. I hope I did. But really nice starter card. Somewhat similar to previous cards we saw earlier. West Ham's new boy is Mohami Kudus. Only four star, three star, but the pace... And the dribbling stats are going to be so good at the start of the game. Same with the passing, not too bad for the link up play. Not bad links, being Premier League, West Ham and Ghana. Ghana, you're going to really struggle getting nationality links. Unless there's some hidden beasts that I've yet to discover. But West Ham's not too bad. Same with Premier League, you should be fine if you want to run a Premier League starter team, for example. And he is going to be cheap, man. 79 rated, he's going to be in packs, he's going to get packed a lot. And very, very affordable, I am sure of it. Up next, we've got a big boy, a heavy hitter. One of these cars that is just going to be so in demand at the start of the game. It's a big Joe upgrade to 82 rated Joe Linton. What's happened, man? How has he pulled this off, boys? I know he was decent, to be fair, last season. The EA have niced him, and this gives me hope. Future promo cards, we can have a Hullet Gang Joe bossing it across the midfield. He looks so good, minus the agility being a little bit low, but it shouldn't matter too much at the start of the game. I just think like the presence, the links, like he's going to be a fun card to use. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him when I'm building my start squad. Now, are we saving the best to last? We have got Barcelona's finest. Or Schwala. I hope I said her name correctly as well. Please do correct me if I am butchering these names. I do appreciate the, you know, the helping hand. If I am, let me know down below in the comment section. But this card looks stacked. 84, 85 rated, my bad. Probably going to be one of the most expensive that we're going to see. But the pace, the finishing, 90 finishing. Really low composure, which is a bit annoying. Like, you would expect that to be higher, but still should be decent in front of goal. Four star, four star, 91 agility, the balance, 92 strength. Crazy and Nigerian in the La Liga F, which is great for links as we looked at some cards earlier. But what a card! I will try my best to review a lot of these at the start of the game. There's someone you want to see in particular, let me know down below in the comment section. But come on, some of these look crazy. Hopefully, me and you are going to be packing them in our welcome back packs or maybe our preview packs. You never know, EA. Yeah. If I see this woman coming out of my first pack, I will be gassed. I cannot wait to try out some of these cards. And I hope you are excited for EFC 24. I am for sure. Starter squad videos to follow. Same with more like overpowered cards. Uh, I'll get that out as well as the silver teams or bronze teams at some point. But do let me know if you are ready for EFC and you are hyped by dropping a like on the video. I've been Morsi. I'll catch you guys later.